from NBC News, this is Today with Matt Lauer and Meredith Vieira, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. They have fun. Anyway, I'm Matt Lauer along with Ann Curry, who's here while Meredith is taking some time off, and Al Roker is here as well. We have this problem quite a lot. The problem with your mascara. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, you know, some people are actually considering something called a cosmetic <laughs> surgery that is a new frontier called an eyelash transplant. Ouch. And, uh, well, yeah, looks like, it sounds like it would hurt a lot, so we're going to figure out if it doesn't look good right at the moment. But the question is, does it look good eventually, and is it worth the price that you have to pay I'm for it? So, so we're going to get to the bottom of that. This morning on Today's Consumer Smarts, the eyes have it. For years, women unhappy with their lashes have struggled with sticky and messy false ones, but now there's a new cosmetic procedure making that beauty battle obsolete. Today, consumer correspondent and iVillage contributor Janice Lieberman is here with a secret. Janice, good morning. Good morning. You're not going to believe this one. Imagine getting a whole new set of luscious lashes and never having to put on false ones or gunking up your lashes with lots of mascara again. Well, just like hair transplants are becoming popular for men, eyelash transplants are doing wonders for many women. We struggle to get that luscious look, the sultry, sexy look of fabulous lashes. But even after layers of mascara, sometimes it just doesn't do it. Now there's a new procedure pioneered by Dr. Alan Bauman, we don't want to go too low a hair transplant specialist in Boca Raton, Florida, that can actually transplant hair from your head onto your eyelids. Lashes are the new frontier of cosmetic surgery, no doubt. And judging from the response of patients calling us for the procedure and the requests from physicians who want to learn the procedure, this is in the midst of explosion right now. Erica Lynn filled in her thin, pale lashes a year ago and now gets them cut and colored to maintain her new look. It helps my career because I'm in modeling, but I did it for my whole life. But eyelash transplants are not only a great cosmetic fix, they can also help burn victims and those who have lost their lashes to disease. Veronica Garner was just 35 when she was diagnosed with breast cancer married and the mother of three. Two little scoops. Before she lost her hair to chemotherapy, she shaved it. But there was one side effect to the cancer drugs that she didn't expect. I knew I was going to lose my hair, but I didn't know I was going to lose my eyebrows and my eyelashes. That was three years ago, and though her hair grew back, her eyelashes never did. She admits next to cancer, it's inconsequential. But still, she wanted her thick, dark eyelashes back. I just feel like I look washed out. I feel like, you know, they just don't stand out, you know, like they used to. What I'm noticing about your lashes... She booked uh, with Dr. Bauman just days after hearing about the transplant. Do you have any questions about the process of what we're going to do today? The procedure is not for the squeamish. We're going to harvest this area right here. Dr. Bauman takes hair follicles from the scalp, then sews them through the eyelid one by one. The patient is under local anesthesia and wide awake. I feel great. I'm Once in, the lashes grow like the hair on your head and have to be trimmed regularly. At first, patients usually have bruising and swelling, and the new lashes fall out before growing back full. That takes about six months to a year. Oh, my God. <laughs> They're long. For Veronica Garner, her future is looking good. Oh, man, I'm so happy. <laughs> She has so much courage going through that cancer and doing really fabulously. Well, this eyelash transplant is not cheap. It's about $3,000 per eye. That's $6,000 total, so it's a big commitment in many ways. And there's a lot of maintenance, as we saw as well. There's I mean, it grows like your hair, right? right? They grow long. It doesn't know to curl. It may have to be dyed, so you have to get them trimmed. And trimmed. And dyed and curled. And, you know, it's not like having your regular eyelashes living, you know, with, with that. Is this a procedure that's growing in popularity? 300% increase in cosmetic reasons alone is what wow. Dr. Bauman told us. Now he's one of the first in the country to do it and he's teaching doctors around the country how to perform this. It used to be, it all started for burn victims mm -hmm. who lose their lashes and this is a wonderful way for them to regain. Well, and for people with chemotherapy, again, as you saw with the cancer patient. Now what about um, risks? Are there any known real risks? I mean, she could have some infection, some bruising, but that'll all go away. And when we saw her, the, you know, the lashes were long, but they're going to fall out.
because mm -hmm. your hair grows in cycles and to come back fully it's, she's not going to realize it until six months to a year so you know there's some in between stages that might be a little awkward and you said dr bauman is, is training and teaching other doctors around the country how do you find a doctor who can perform the eyelash transplant you can check with him he's in boca raton florida he is a, a hair transplant specialist and he can refer you to a doctor that has learned how to do it but um, it's still revolutionary it and is. it's you know it's a crazy idea but for some people it's kind of hard to watch <laughs> i think so <laughs> janice lieberman thank you <laughs>